I would like to commend the Independence for Change for tabling this PMB. For many local communities, the drugs crisis has got progressively worse. Tragically, the drugs crisis doesn't seem to have the same priority on the political agenda as it once did. From the early 80s up until 1996, the state had effectively abdicated its responsibility towards local communities in tackling the drugs crisis. Only in 1996 did the state, for the first time under pressure from local communities, recognise that the drugs crisis was not just a criminal issue and that it had to put in place measures to deal with the issue. From this, the foundations were laid for the establishment of the local ta drugs task forces, national structures and core funding to tackle the drugs crisis. Sig significantly, it also led to the appointment of a dedicated min minister with responsibility for the national drug strategy. I want to pay tribute to one of those in the community who was to the fore in the working class communities in tackling the drugs crisis and who has recently passed away. John Wacker Humphreys was a tireless and courageous worker and was an inspiration to many. People like Wacker Humphreys gave communities a sense of hope in a time of hopelessness and despair. Our thoughts are with his family and friends at this sad time. I believe that tackling the drugs crisis is not a priority for this government or for previous governments, and our communities are paying a heavy price as a result. Drugs task forces have had their funding cut every year between 2008 and 2014, and funding has been frozen since 2014, without even consideration for inflation. Additionally, drugs projects have had to tackle the alcohol crisis, which was added to their remit without any extra funding or resources. Funding needs to be reinstated to 2008 levels, with a comparative increase in funding to reflect the additional remit of alcohol. 250,000 goes nowhere near what's required. Community-based drug and alcohol projects need to be given the resources and proper funding to meet the complex challenges they face. Those who work in these projects should also expect decent pay and conditions. Staff are expected to do more work, be more accountable for less money, leading in turn to a loss of experienced personnel and projects as well as a recruitment problem. Staff should have their pay restored and those who are entitled to increments should also have them restored. Drugs remain a real crisis in mainly working class communities with 695 drug related deaths in 2015. There was a 61% increase, percent increase in drug related deaths between 2004 and 2015. That is over three times higher than those that died on our roads. Parents and children and whole communities are being terrorised and intimidated by those involved in the drug trade. Drug-related intimidation is a daily challenge for many people and their families. A recent report by Citywide Drugs Crisis Campaign showed that 74% of those suffering intimidation did not report incidents to Gardaí, but 90% reported incidents to community groups and family members. 37% of people experienced physical injury. 67% reported mental health problems as a result of the intimidation. Another worrying trend is that children are being groomed to be used as drug couriers. No one sector or agency can deal with the drugs issue. It requires an interagency approach. Sinn Féin calls for a dedicated minister for the national drug strategy with a dedicated ring fence budget equal to that of the 2008 budget with additional funding for the alcohol remit. Both the Emerging Needs Fund and the Young Persons Facilities and Services Fund should be re-established because they allowed local drug task forces to respond quickly and effectively to new challenges. Task forces themselves must once again be responsible for drafting and implementing local strategies to combat the drug crisis. Task forces must be allowed to operate independent of the HSE and their bureaucracy. Task forces must be supported by the state and government agencies, including HSE, Gardaí and local authorities. Community and voluntary state sector representatives are crucial for the development of a drug strategy. Their voices and opinions are vital in the fight against the drug crisis. 
We need to reprioritise tackling the causes and consequences of the drug crisis and reinstate funding and strengthen the local and national structures, all accountable and supported by a dedicated minister with responsibility for the drug strategy. Sure.